Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems related to number systems. See the first question which is given in this session. A number when divided by 315, a number when divided by 315 leaves a remainder as 48. A number when divided by 315 leaves a remainder as 46 and uh, the value of quotient is 7. Find the number. Guys, uh, as we all know that the relationship between all these terms uh, when we are dividing any number, here this, this is a number, let us consider. When we are dividing any number, this value is called as divisor. Divisor and this is called as dividend and this is called as quotient and this one is remainder. Now, the relationship between all these four terms which is nothing but dividend is equal to dividend is equal to divisor divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend is equal to what? Divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here, dividend is nothing but the number which we want to find. That number is equal to divisor. Here, a number is divided by 315. Number which is divided by 315. So, this 315 is called as divisor into quotient. The value of quotient is given as 7 plus remainder is given as 46. Remainder is given as 46. Now you can calculate the value. n is equal to, here it is uh, 300 into 7, that is 2100. 15 into 7, 105. 15 into 7, 105. So here it is uh, 5022. 2205 plus 46. The product of these two is 2205 plus 46. You need to add to this number. The value becomes uh, 2251, 46 plus 5, which is equal to 51. Therefore, that number is uh, 2251, 2251. That is the required answer for this question. That number is uh, 2251. That is the answer. Next question. The quotient arising, the quotient arising from a division of a number by 62 is 463. The quotient arising. Here the quotient is 463. So many students will confuse at this point only. The quotient arising. You are getting a quotient by division of uh, a number by 62. Here you are dividing a number by 62. Here this number is called as 62 is called as divisor. And n is called as dividend. And the remainder is given as uh, 60. What is that number? In the previous problem, I already told you the relationship between dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. That is, dividend n is equal to. Here n is called as dividend. The divisor is 62. And the value of quotient is 463 plus remainder. Remainder is 60. Now you can multiply those two values. Only thing is you need to do the calculation part of those two. Product of those two. 2 into 3, 6. And next, uh, 12. Next, 8 plus 1, 9. 6, 3 is 18. 6, 6 is 36 plus 1, 39. Next, 6, 4 is 24, 24 plus 3, 24 plus 3, 27. Now you can add all the values. 6, 0, next 10 plus 9, 19, and next uh, 7 plus 1, 8, and next 2, 28906, 28906. The product of these two, 28906 plus remainder 60. Therefore, that number is equal to 28,966. That is the required answer. That is the number. 28,966. If you divide this number with 62, you will get the quotient as 463 and the remainder is 60. That is the required answer. Okay. Next question. What is the least value of K? What is the 
least value of k so that the number here the number is 6 7 3 5 k 1 this is the number which is given that is divisible by 9 that is divisible by 9 here this entire number is divisible by 9 guys these kind of problems are very important in examination point of view and uh, look at here here we need to calculate the least value of k so that this entire number is divisible by 9. If you want to solve these kind of problems, definitely you must know the divisibility rule of 9. What is the divisibility rule of 9? Sum of all the digits. Sum of the digits divisible by 9. Sum of the digits divisible by 9. Now add all the digits. 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus k plus 1. Add all the values. 7 plus 3, 10, 16, 21, 22 plus k. 22 plus k, this value must be divisible by 9. This value must be divisible by 9. Then what is the value of k? Here, if you observe carefully, always one point you must keep it in mind is the value of k must be single digit number must be single digit number that is from 0 to 9 only the value of k must be single digit number that is from 0 to 9 why because uh, if any number is any digit is missed uh, in the num given number that particular digit must be a single digit positive number right so 0 to 9 these are the possible values of k now if you observe carefully 22 plus k is div divisible by 9 according to the question here as the value 22 is not divisible by 9 now you can check it out what is the next value what is the next value after 22 which is divisible by 9 that is 27 so 22 plus k which is equal to 27 this is the next value which is exactly divisible by 9 so the value of k is equal to 5 if you substitute k is equal to 5 you will uh, that number definitely divisible by 9 that is the answer for this question okay next question last question in this session what is the least value of k what is the least value of k so that this number is divisible by 9 in the previous question that is divisible by 9 now in this question it is divisible by 11 here the number is given as 5k3457 here you to solve this problem definitely you must know the divisibility rule of 11 what is the divisibility rule of 11 difference between sum of odd place digits and sum of even place digits is either 0 or multiple of 11. First take sum of odd place digits. Sum of odd place digits. 5 plus 3 plus 5. These are odd place digits. And next sum of even place digits. K plus 4 plus 7. Now the difference between these two is either 0 or multiple of 11. First I will take 0. Here sum of these three values 13 minus this value is 11 plus k which is equal to 0. Now if you substitute k is equal to 2, k is equal to 2, if k is equal to 2 therefore 13 minus 13 which is equal to 0 condition satisfied. Therefore, the least value of k which is equal to 2. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.